Brian, I'm going in with a rock. Ready? You are watching a drill unfold inside an East Tennessee school. Loudoun police decided months ago to set this active shooter training for today. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan shows us how authorities in that small community of 60,000 are preparing for a worst case 911 call. A diamond formation forces open the doors. Watch your the best shooter leads the pack and partner covers their back. Open door left. In training Batman. and in real life, they never know what's coming next. Batman. It's what they have to do to prepare for the worst. Go to left, go to left. Unfortunately, we have kind of a crisis in, in, in our society right now in America, so uh, it's very, very important that our law enforcement agencies across the country are prepared and God forbid if a, a situation was to occur, uh, th that we're ready for that. Deputy Chief Samuel Harrison says it's an annual training, one that holds a bit more weight this year. What you've seen the past, you know, couple weeks has kind of reinforced how important it is that we're able to respond to any kind of active shooter situation, whether it be in the school or even a workplace. Open door left. They'll test response in twos and fours. Come on up. Checking empty rooms. You're gonna get shot if you don't come out. Okay. Well, I would imagine we'll have some role player bad guys, and they will be in, a, in different classrooms throughout the school. Clear. This time, the actor is Buddy Bradshaw. It's great training. It's qualified training. A different role for the county mayor. You don't think about something like this happening at a local school till it happens at a local school. But the repetition brings confidence in the department's response, and hopefully, confidence from the community too. God forbid an active shooter situation was to occur. You know that we're uh, that we're training and, and being as prepared for that as possible. Caitlin joins us now. Similar training going on across the country. Caitlin, you learned what made today different. Yeah, John, the big difference is that this training took place inside the school. Homeland Security investigators helped with administering this training. And in this case, police used paintball guns to make the training as real as possible. John, I'll send it back to you. Caitlin Keenahan on this story. Thank you, Caitlin.